G'day, welcome to another episode of Country Life on the Coast. My name is Sean and on today's episode, we're gonna build a possum house. We have a possum that's living in our roof and done some research and the best way to do it is to build a possum house and help them uh, move out. So that's what we're going to do today. There's a few wildlife rescue sort of places online that you can look at that uh, give you the dimensions of what size possum house, possum box you should make. So I've looked at that, I've, I've checked through a few and the size are all about the same which is good. So I've picked one of them. So what I'm going to use is offcuts from the fence palings that I used for making my workbench. I might need to cut up a couple extras for uh, some of the sides that are slightly longer, but basically what we'll be able to do is put a few together and then be able to just put some timber strips across to join them all together, and that'll be one side and put it together. So I've got my dimensions of what I need. So I'll start cutting the timber to size and then, yeah, we'll start putting it all together. All the wood's now been cut, sort of just cleaned up the bench a little bit just so as I lay it out I'm not fighting with sawdust. And so what the plan is, is each one of these will make either a side wall or the front or back or something like that. So what I'm going to do is just put one of these across like this <coughs> and screw it in. And that will support it, hold it all together. And on these bigger ones, we will um, just put two. And do the same for that. Screw all that together. And that's each side done. And then we can start putting it together. So this is all laid out, ready to go. So I'll just drill and screw the supports into each one and attach them all, make them nice and solid. Now these two here are going to be the sides and I've cut them all off at 450 but what I'm going to have is at the front they'll actually be 400 and then they'll angle up the 450. So I just need to make sure that I put these down low enough so that when I mark this and cut it shortly um, that I don't cut through that as well and just keep that away from the sides but everything else uh, yeah we'll be right so we'll start drilling and screwing all this together obviously the possum house. I've just uh, sat it together at the moment. Nothing screwed together just yet. Just sort of doing a bit of a test of how it sort of fits and sits. And so far, all of this, the base, the sides, everything all looks good. Uh, just the top. I don't know what I did actually, but this was supposed to come and stick out sort of this far. So I'll have to get some other pieces of timber and remake that. But that'll be pretty easy to do, won't take long at all. So we'll knock that together. The other thing I realised after I'd done a couple is that on the sides here, uh, there was a bit of a gap between each paling. And uh, that's going to obviously let rain in and water in that. That's not real good. So we might put something over the, the joins, certainly of some of these. After I noticed it, I actually started clamping them together as I was screwing them together 
and that then removed the gap. And so, like on this top one here, it's basically sealed solid. Um, so when I remake this, what I'm actually gonna do is plane the ends so that that's a really nice solid fit. Uh, and then I'll actually put a bit of glue in there and then clamp it together and screw it in. And then that will at least be waterproof then as well. So the top will be watertight. And then on the sides uh, and the front, I'll have to look at something else of how to uh, just put a, a little strip across just along the join, the seam of them basically, um, just to make it more waterproof. I want to encourage the possum to live in here. So yeah, otherwise doing pretty well. We also will need to cut a hole out of the front here somewhere. Uh, so probably this board will come out a bit. We'll cut a big hole in here. Um, so we'll do that soon before we put it all together as well. But next thing, yeah, we'll pull this one apart and make these a bit longer. This is the first one we've put back together after planing it. And as you can see, a really tight, basically no gap there at all. So that's what I was going for. And attaching it this way, it just keeps it nice and sturdy. I said I wasn't sure if I was putting them uh, vertical that would get the same strength. So, so I put this one down a bit further because I need to cut a hole here for access in and out for the possum. So we'll cut that out in a while. But at the moment, I'll go through and plane all these and reattach them and put all these pieces back together. All right guys, so I've got all my pieces ready to go. Uh, I had it all together just before just sort of testing it out, checking that it all sort of looked right and it all appears pretty good. And then I was thinking about how to attach it. And so what I just did was I just did a test run because it's pretty certain if I drill and screw into the end grain of hardwood, it's not going to be very strong. So I attached this just as a test piece and then just gave it a bit of a flex and that. And yeah, it sort of split the end straight away, cracked it wasn't really surprised to be honest so hence why I did on some scrap wood at first so now I just find some other timber that I've got and cut it to size and basically just put it as attaching points uh, in the corners I'll go and check under the house and find some timber well I've had to come inside because it's raining so you might hear some rain on the roof at times but we've got the possum box sort of set up ready to be put together what I've done is I've just bought some timber. Just need some little square to help attach it all. So I've put four pieces on the bottom that you might be able to see down here. Basically gonna screw through the sides into it and then from underneath up onto it as well. It then helps support it a bit. I do have it clamped at the moment though, just to hold it there. Uh, the other thing I've done is I've cut this piece out the front. So this is basically gonna be the entrance so the possum can get into the possum box. Uh, I've drilled four smallish holes in the corners as well so that if any water does get in there, it can drain out. And these other four pieces of timber I've got, I'm gonna use those for the sides to attach them. So what I think I'll do is actually, while well, I've got this clamped now, is I'll glue and screw these on so that they'll attach all the sides together and do the front as well and then I can lay it on its side and attach the bottom to the other ones. I think it should work so we'll get to it. So we've put the possum box together 
and yeah just screwed those sides in and then did the same with the base so she's all nice and solid together it's getting pretty heavy which is a little bit worrying but anyway we'll see if that's an issue later on i've also redone the top and what i did was just added an extra board to the end so originally i only made it three planks wide and it wasn't really wide enough to overhang properly so i just added the fourth board to it and that way it's got a bit of overhang on the sides as well so now that will sit up on here and i've just bought a couple of hinges that i thought the back was going to be longer as well when i bought these but what i'll do is i'll just bend this over and we'll put those two screws there i mean realistically the top won't really open up there's no reason for me to be climbing up a ladder and checking inside it or anything so yeah these will work so we'll attach this and then when it stops raining we can actually put it up but that's really it box it's all completed hinges on all works a lot of space inside and most importantly i hope the possum likes it and decides to move out of our house and into this so when it stops raining i'll look at putting it up in a tree or on our uh, power pole not quite sure exactly where we're going to put it yet probably on a tree in our property i think that way uh, we can sort of keep a bit of an eye on it as well but that will be once the rain stops and at the moment i'm not sure when that is but that's all we've got time for in this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button. That'd be great. And we'll catch you next time. God bless.